you know, guys, Sammy hits me here. So, as you can see, awesome fitting. We're in the rigging day of our trip. Just thought I'd go through how to rig up poppers and stick baits. So you can see this one here. This is the uh, this is the A team. They're ready to get their call up first thing tomorrow. But uh, I'm going to go through how to rig them up and get yourself ready. So the first one to do is pop up. This one, old vehicle, you can see, missing a fair bit of bark already. What I'm going to rig this guy up with here is some 5 -0 trebles. And I'm going to do so with 10 -0 split ring, uh, sorry, size 10 split rings. So all we do, we grab our split ring pliers. We've got a belly treble and a tail treble. So that belly treble is a big swivel. So it doesn't really matter which way you face that treble because it can spin any which way. So get your split ring pliers, open up your split ring, slide it onto the treble, oh sorry, the swivel like that, and slide it, slide it on. Like so, there you can see that swivel enables that treble to just free, freely rotate. Now that tail, the tail we have to put a bit more thought into. So these trebles are actually offset. Now, if you look, oh, if we look at them down the line, it will be a certain way where you can sit it like that, where the tail hook will sit directly up and the two other hooks will sit outside. So we want that top hook pointing vertically up. So like so. Again, get your split ring pliers, open them up. Them up and then thread it on. Now you see, when that hook sits naturally, that top hook is point, uh, sorry, facing up, and you've got the other two pointing down. So that popper, that's ready to go. Now, our stick bait, and you use this guy here, it looks a bit like a fusilier, which is the number one food source, and uh, I reckon that's a bit of chew on that one. So again, Using 5 0 trebles because this is uh, quite a big sick bait. Got my size 10 split rings. Now, because these are fixed toe points, we're going to have to do some thinking on how to uh, to get this one sitting correctly. So, if you rig it the wrong way, you're going to have a hook that's always going to be sitting off center on that. So, again, you look down the line, you go, okay, that one's going to sit flat. Flip them over, lay it out. Go, yeah, that's, that's me. Get your split ring claws. Open him up and thread him on. Get the sword. So you see that hook wants to sit like that perfectly. You've got good hook exposure there, and these other two will sit side by side and won't affect the swimming action. Again, with that tail treble, you want to do the same thing, have that top hook facing up, the other two outside, line him up. Ooh, sharp. Line up. Almost lost the camera then. <laughs> that didn't mean a good start to the trip. So there we go. That hook is sitting up like that. And this one tucks into the belly. And that one's ready to roll as well. Now, I'm going to show you how to chuck them on your rod. So I've got a popping outfit. I've got a 3 0 swivel and another size 10 split ring. Now that allows me, that split ring allows me to change lures throughout the day and also allows that lure plenty of movement with the swivel there. So I'm going to use this one on my popper. I've got a 200 pound leader there, so it should be able to stop anything in the reef. Fingers crossed. Grab me split ring pliers. Open up that split ring. Put it in the cup. Thread it through. That popper is ready for action. Now stick bait. I've got the same setup, except I've got a 2-0 treble, oh, sorry, 2-0 swivel, and it's size 10 split ring. Again, we want that mobility and that quick change of the split ring. Open him up. Thread him on. Ready to rock and roll. So, that's how you rig your pops and stick bait, guys. I've got some more rods to rig, but, uh, Get into it.